Hey, Brian here from quantlabs.net. I just wanted to show you that we've uh, got our first uh, ARIMA script uh, pretty well completed. Um, what it basically does is if you are interested in forecasting uh, using real world data, which is uh, these demos are based off of, uh, one is for Forex tick data. Uh, it goes quite quite a far back, a uh, good number of years actually. We can we we can have no limits really, but I just want to show you a simple uh, a uh, few plots that these uh, get generated from the, the R script that we provide. There's also two videos that we provide um, giving a, a complete R code walkthrough. And again, this is our first version of it. So we probably will at some point see more um, uh, improvements on it. I uh, just wanted to let everybody know this is a typical uh, time series that you may get of uh, any type of data if it's Forex or equity. doesn't matter on the frequency for the data. It could be uh, tick data. It could also be bar historical data. Any time really is uh, frequent as uh, one or five minutes. We provide both demos. Um, but I just want to show you uh, we also show um, all the different ARIMA R packages as well. Of course, you get the R script uh, associated with this that generates this plot. Um, and um, this is just one aspect. So I'll show a bunch of charts. This is the first uh, ARIMA process, the results of a, of a plot. Um, I'll show you the second um, plot as well. Um, basically, we're going to run the uh, second test. Um, so obviously we get the residuals, the uh, ACF, uh, the QQ plot, and the p-values. Um, from there, uh, we could run the actual forecast. Um, in this case, similar to what you just saw, upward trend. Um, it doesn't stop there. We can also plot the uh, residuals. Uh, like this. Um, so I just want to show the different types of capabilities of that you can generate from this ARIMA script uh, in R. Um, again, there's two uh, different uh, ARIMA processes we use um, from different R packages. Uh, I just wanted to sh let you know that this can be done um, and uh, more to come. Talk to you later.